All right, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live on this Friday morning. Taking a look here at shares of Angie, stock off about 1.5% company out last night uh, with a quarter that was ever so slightly shy of revenue estimates um, and a slightly wider than expected loss, essentially in line with estimates, though, across the board. Joining us now to talk uh, about the state of Angie's business, Oshin Hanrahan, the company's CEO. Oshin, thanks uh, for jumping on this morning. I want to start with something that, that came up at the beginning of, of the call last night, and Joey talked about it at length, which is sort of the new brand portfolio, the way you guys have, have put some brands together under the Angie uh, umbrella. And I'm just curious if you could you know, kind of spell out what's in there now and sort of how that strategy is, is playing out for you guys. For sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me. Great to be here today. So we're really excited about the opportunity we've got to build a really durable, longstanding consumer brand that people turn to for everything in their home. You think about, you know, you think about the great brands that have been built and there's a big opportunity for us to build a brand around Angie. The Angie's List brand has been around for a really long time. It's been around for 20 years, loved by consumers, a lot of resonance with that brand. The issue is it's a little bit too literal uh, in, in that it was originally a list and Angie is, is no longer a list. Consumer expectations have changed. You think about, you know, you think about all the ways that consumers want to engage with things now. They want to tap a button on their phone and get something done. And that's why we've dropped list from the brand. And we've really leaned into the Angie brand in the last few months. We've rebranded Angie's list to Angie. We've put Angie as our primary consumer brand, our flagship brand, and we're really getting behind that brand. We've invested in it in terms of moving our mobile app over, invested TV behind it. And we're now at a point where we're seeing really strong growth in the aided and unaided awareness for that brand. So it, it, it's really about building this one location that every consumer trusts to take care of everything inside their home. Part of the secret sauce, I, I imagine, is the ability just to go online and, and search for your brand. So you made that domain shift and, and that has pressured results. Has, has the search traffic to your site, has that bottomed? Do you, are you starting to see that turn the corner? Look, we've we, we've got a we got a number of different things going on. So we've got the Angie's list to Angie domain transition, and that's doing really well. So uh, IAC has done this many times before with the, some of their dot dash brands, and that is performing, frankly, better than expected. So the the Angie's list to Angie domain transition doing really well. The traffic is rebounding; it's accelerating off uh, off the decline that we would have seen from the domain transition. Where we're, where we're seeing a little bit of challenge is on the Home Advisor brand, where as we've shifted our advertising dollars over from Home Advisor to Angie, what we're actually seeing is that brand is, is degrading at a faster rate than we would have thought. And that, frankly, has given us more confidence than ever to invest behind the Angie brand. So we're, we're getting somewhere between seven and 10 times more awareness per dollar spent on Angie than we ever were on HomeAdvisor, which again, perhaps speaks to the literal nature of the name. It's perhaps a little too generic. Whereas Angie is a brand, it really stands out. It's a great brand that we're excited to invest in. So, Ashin, let's talk a little bit about what's what's on there right now, and I want to ask about supply because um, and and really competition. Let's say uh, in the pro market, competition to get jobs done. Anybody who owns a home now has tried to do anything to their home knows how hard it is to get someone on the phone, let alone get them to come and, and do something. What has that been like for you guys in the last year? Because you, know, you noted. Basically, during COVID, everything stopped, and, and now it's at this speed that sort of uh, has felt unsustainable. I don't know how you guys are seeing maybe the other side of this. Look, I, I think you've got some pretty, uh, some pretty unprecedented things going on where you saw consumer demand accelerate at probably the fastest rate it's ever accelerated for anything in the home. And then you had supply contract at, a, at probably the fastest rate it's, it's ever contracted and then gradually start to rebound. Uh, and then you add on top of that, the complications of actual supply chains of shingles, concrete, steel, et cetera. And it's been a challenging environment. So we got two businesses within Angie, two primary, two primary business models. One where pros pay us to access uh, customers, and that business has been challenged. So, you know, where pros are as busy as they have been, it, it's obvious that they're, they're, they're you know, they're, there's challenges getting them to, to invest more and grow in their, their customer base. The second business we've got is the Angie services model, where customers pay us to do work. And that business has been incredible. 
So that business is up 127% year on year in Q2 to $73 million. It, you know, you think about that growth rate at a business of that scale, it's frankly, it's frankly incredible. And then you look at July, where it's up 166% year on year in July. So our Angie services business is the one where we're really seeing phenomenal growth. Obviously, we think that the, uh, the, 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 the supply demand imbalance that, that you've got going on is probably temporary. Uh, and we expect to see some normalization there, and we expect to see, you know, significant recovery, uh, significant recovery uh, in in the in the in the ratio between supply and demand as we get through this pandemic. Um, but we've really been very fortunate in our ability to bring on more and more supply into that Angie Services model, and I think that speaks to it speaks to great product market fit. It speaks to the fact that consumers are trusting Angie. They're saying yes, I will pay Angie to do work inside my home, and pros are saying yeah, I'd love to sell work directly through Angie. Let me let me sign up to do that. So the fact that you know even during all this shortage. The fact that we can grow that business 127% year on year, Q2 v Q2 last year, is a, is a, is a great result. We've seen, uh, I would say over the past year or so, a Home Depot, a Lowe's, getting more involved with services. I think Home Depot is now loaning out tools. Ha has that had any impact on your business? So one of the, one of the parts of the, the Angie services model is actually we partner with major retailers. So when you go to, uh, when you go to certain retailers and you want to get, uh, you know, you, you want to get a TV mount or you want to get a TV, for example, at Walmart, uh, you can actually buy the TV mounting service provided by Angie, uh, in the, in, in a Walmart store. So we actually, you know, one of our, one of our models for Angie services is to meet the customer wherever they are. If the customer wants to pick service first, which, you know, we, we hope they, they will, and they come to Angie, uh, then we're going to sell them a service right there on the, on the, on the site or in the mobile app. If they want to, uh, if they want to pick the product first, then we're going to partner with major retailers to sell the service alongside the product. So it really is, it really is a, a multi-channel distribution strategy uh, that that brings brings the best experience possible to customers. Ultimately, we, we have two goals, right? We want to make sure that whatever the homeowner wants to get done inside their home, they turn to Angie to get the job done. And if whatever whatever you know way a pro wants to grow their business, that they turn to Angie to help them grow that business. And we do those two things, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be on the right path. All right, we'll leave it there. Angie, CEO, Sheen Hanrahan, uh, appreciate the time this morning. Uh, best of luck, and I know we'll be in touch. Thanks.